Hi, it's dumpster diving time again. I scored this Epson GT1500 scanner. I uh, showed this on Twitter, sitting on top of the uh, dumpster down there, and uh, some people said, nah, it's worthless, don't bother. But then I did a quick uh, eBay search of this, and sure enough, it's still a current model. It's on the Epson website, and it's about 450 bucks brand new and it's a flatbed scanner with a four uh, sheet feeder on it which is you know they're not that common to get them just the scanner itself usually they're just a flatbed jobby but this one um, has the sheet feeder as well so even though it looks old it is still a current model and it's got USB interface like there's no like USB stick or anything you can't like scan directly to a USB stick but uh, yeah it's got the USB A's on it and the other thing I like about it is that that if I can get my hand out of the shot here you can actually lift it, it doesn't just hinge like that it actually lifts up at the back so you can put like large books and things and PCBs by the way scanners are great for um, scanning PCBs so you can put you know not that big but you can put like reasonable size stuff in there on the scanner bed so yeah that's I think it's just really nice but anyway um, I was going to pair it up and test it but this bloody thing, check this out, right? Looks, you know, fairly, you know, it's a 24 volt input, which is a little bit strange for a scanner. Uh, leave it in the comments if you've uh, got one um, similar. And you know, it's a barrel jack of uh, some description. And you know, I thought, oh yeah, no worries. Um, I couldn't find the uh, plug pack for it. Pro dumpster diving tip, always search for the plug packs and remote controls for TVs and other things. Couldn't find it. So I thought, no worries, you know, I've got a big, <laughs> huge array of adapters. Wah, 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 wah. Not a single one fits it. And then I checked, of course, my uh, extensive collection of multiple tubs, plural, of uh, plug packs. And sure enough, I'm not, no, I don't have anything that fits it, let alone uh, 24 volts. So, um, yeah, it's like I can't. <laughs> have to bodge something either bodge something together or maybe um as i'm going to do now i'm just going to tear the thing apart because well why not i'm assuming it works and it's just surplus to requirements now as most of the stuff is i find in the dumpster probably you know more than 95 percent of stuff i find in there works so yeah this um and i lost my little epson usb scanner it was usb powered it was quite nice um i lost that in my move somewhere so I don't know if I tossed it or if I accidentally gave it away in the big uh, giveaway of the old moving out of the old lab or whatnot but yeah I don't have a scanner the only thing I've got I'll show you this is the only thing I've got left which is uh, huge <laughs> I wasn't going to pick this up this was also a dumpster find almost all of my PC stuff is uh, dumpster find um, this is an A3 color laser and it's got a scanner on the top but it's clunky it's only 600 dpi it's not very good but this bad boy here is 1200 dpi and 48 bit color depth so uh you know 16 bits uh, per color so it seems to have like pretty good specs as far as um scanners go so yeah i want to get it working but bloody plug pack anyway and other dumpster printers that i use i've got this uh, hp laserjet uh, 5200 which is my uh, invoice uh, printer for all my packing and shipping stuff works great built like a tank and this is my backup color laser printer I got from the dumpster, a Fuji Xerox something or other. It's a DocuPrint C2120. And uh, I don't use this at the moment. It's just a backup. Um, it's only A4 uh, color, but it still works a treat, <laughs> as all my dumpster stuff does. Anyway, that's enough dumpster flexing. Now, uh, let's take this one apart, shall we? Oh, made in Indonesia. I don't know if yours in Indonesia. Um, don't get much of that. Um, it's the GTD 1000, so I guess they did share like, the same chassis in the series, but takes 1.3 amps, uh, 24 volts. The bloody thing's the connector, though. Actually, the only problem I see with this, I'm not sure if you're seeing that, there's a mark on it, and that's not on the top. That's on the bottom. So um, I don't know if that'll sweep out if the... Uh, uh, like the scanner um, comes out of the thing so like you know it sweeps across and it might get rid of it I don't know anyway um so here's the window for the uh, sheet feeder and apparently that only does 600 dpi whereas if you want 1200 you've got to put it flat on the bed but I guess for like scanning like mass scanning documents you probably don't want the 1200 sort of stuff you know it's when you're scanning photos and things like that that you want the real high-res stuff 
for some reason there's a little window here that pops off and you can get the uh, connectors off that go up to the top uh, sheet feeder. That's nice. Interestingly, it only has uh, screws at the back, along the back here. It doesn't have any at the front and it's all just uh, clippity doodah. So I'm going to lay this down and hopefully this comes out because there's not much in these suckers. But yeah, oh, yep, 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 there we go. We're in. Beauty. There ain't much. <laughs> but it means I can get that pesky little dust out. And yeah, so I'll give the give the bottom of that screen a, a good wiper dipe. Just got the main uh I you know transport linear rod or whatever it's called and a belt to drive the sucker. And looks like they got a little platform like a tensioner platform. And uh oh yeah, no, that can it can slide a bit, but it's yeah, actually it does. Yeah, it, it slides. Those screws aren't really holding that in place. You see a little bit of wiggle, wiggle, wiggle air in there. So there you go. It's just keeping that uh, spring is just keeping tension on that pulley. That's quite nice. Sorry, this is not going to be a complete uh, teardown because I do want this um, sucker to uh, work. I don't, you know, like there's nothing in it. So it looks like the main board is just down the bottom, down there, and uh, there's our linear... Um, Array head. This is a uh, CCD one, I believe. All uh, that uh, newfangled stuff. And uh, there's our stepper motor. And well, it's not much else, is there? You can see they do actually have some rubber baby buggy bumpers. And down there, any vibration on the uh, stepper motor. Nice touch. Nothing you can't fix with a Dremel. Of course it's got shielding on the bottom. Bloody Murphy. Might as well go all the way. There you go. Bob's your uncle. These needlepoint probes fit in there very nicely actually. So I'm able to probe that out. Yeah, probably could have used one of those and you know held it there with my tongue at the right angle to try and uh, get it working or bodged it some other way but uh, the Dremel takes like 10 seconds. Oh, look at that, it's like a bought one. If it works I can uh, bog it up with some um, hot snot or something like that but uh, yeah that's good enough for Australia. That'll let us power it up and I can still use the original adapter. All right let's power it up. Got an external supply here. One of the annoying things about this is that I went to uh, plug it in channel one because I don't, you know, this isn't my regular use one, um, and it only gave me six volts out because you've got to read the bloody nameplate up there. I wish they had the label actually down here, um, but as it turns out, this is only a 30 volt one amp jobby anyway. So anyway, I set the power supply to one amp, so it's rating as 1.3, but uh, one, I, I don't think like it won't draw. I don't think it'll draw 1.3, so one amp should be good enough. So I'll switch that on. And uh, sure enough, there you go, 100, 100 milliwatt standby. Switch it on. Green, green is good. There's no error led. Didn't do anything. I don't know, what does that do? No idea. I guess we'll have to plug it into the USB. I expected like it to go beep beep or something. I don't know. Oh, I heard the windows bloop. Sorry. Um, there you go, it's seeking. I hear it's seeking, three watts, seven watts, something like that. Yeah, that's what I'd expect. Green flish flash, and then it reset. I think it's good to go. Be interesting to see how much uh, power it takes when it actually scans. Oh, I just realized I've been using my microphone back to front. Sorry if the audio sounds shit in this. Damn, let me switch it. Idiot. Professional video blogger. There we go. Yeah, it's pointing backwards now. Oh. Alright, so let's just see if it scans something. I have installed the drivers. I haven't opened the software yet though. So, yeah, no idea. But let's whack in a test page, shall we? Which I printed out on my colour dumpster printer. Thank you very much. Let's just go to PDF and see if it does anything by default. Alright. Nah. Email. Scan. Nah. We've got to set it up, presumably. Or it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I've got the app running, Windows 10. I'm going to uh, press scan. Scanning page one, it says. Oh, it's flashing. There it goes. Oh, oh it's trying to suck it in. Oh, geez, it's not quick, is it? I set it for uh, 600 DPI. 
because that's all it can do in the document feeder, but it's it's doing something. There it goes, so I'll post up the image right about now and I'll tell you if it's a winner win a chicken dinner. I think it would be. Is it there? I can't see why not. Oh, you can see sort of something up in the top left corner there, which is not on the printout here. You can see like some colory stuff happening up here. Maybe that was just, you know, maybe it just needs a, the rollers need a clean or something didn't roll properly and something like that. Let me do a flatbed. Yep, that one's absolutely perfect. So there's just a little bit something off with the uh, sheet feeder. So yeah, maybe it needs a bit of lube. Everything's better with lube. Okay, let's scan a PCB, shall we? I'll put, scan the bottom of a Raspberry Pi. Actually, it's probably better if we just put a white page on the back, even if that thing lifts up. Um, yeah, we'll just cover it like that. Well, there she goes. I set it to 1200 DPI now, so it's going really slow. I wonder if I can cancel it part of the way through. Don't know, but uh, yeah, takes a while. But, you know, if you're doing like one-off stuff, like, you know, really high quality photos or, you know, or like reverse engineering a PCB or something like that, you know, speed doesn't matter. So there you have it. Check it out. That looks pretty good. That was just uh, the default settings of the, uh, of the scan at uh, 1200 uh, DPI. And even when I crop that from an A4, it gives me like a 4000, 4500 by like 4000 pixel image or something like that and uh, it seems nice and clear it's really quite nice so scanners are a reasonable way to uh to photograph pcbs um it's better for blank ones of course it's a bit more difficult for uh populated ones but uh yep it works fine for this raspberry pi then there's no image uh tweakings of course you know if you want to get it uh just right uh you know you're doing some reverse engineering or some product photography or something like that then uh yeah you can uh tweak it but that's straight out of the box. That's pretty schmick. So there you have it. There's a dumpster scanner hack. Um, that works just fine. If you have any idea what that pain in the ass uh, connector um, exactly is, um, you can actually buy the plug packs on eBay. They're like, uh, you know, 50 bucks or something though. Unfortunately, I'm not going to spend that. I've got the wires hanging out the back. No worries. Good enough for Australia. And, uh, you know, I don't do scanning all that often, but uh, I can hook this up to, like, not necessarily power supply. I can just get a 24-volt plug pack I've got in my box and then just, uh, you know, splice that in there to the wiring. And uh, Bob's uncle, I got myself a 450 buck current model scanner, even though it's uh, quite old. It looks like they've been selling this thing for quite a few years. It's um, slow, but um, it looks like really decent quality. So anyway, if you like that video, give it a big thumbs up. Catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.